a very good morning children today we are going to learn about addition here we are going to focus on mix up problem solving before going on to today's topic let's recall the concept that we have learned in previous class we have learned about the procedure to find the sum while adding bigger numbers we are going to add 8182 with 1715 our first step is to arrange the numbers in the place value chart and to begin with step 1 we need to add the number of digits in the ones place we have 2 and 5 so 2 plus 5 gives you 7 moving on to step 2 we have to add the number of digits in the tens place we have 8 and 1 so 8 plus 1 gives you 9 and step 3 add the number of digits in the hundreds please we have 1 and 7 so 1 plus 7 is equal to 8 finally moving on to step 4 we need to add the number of digits in the thousands please and we have 8 and 1 so 8 plus 1 gives you 9 and finally we get an answer 9897 let's read Tick the ones that are right, and find the correct answers for the ones that are wrong. Use addition or subtraction. Example one: sixty-five parent tickets and ninety-eight student tickets were sold for the school annual day. How many tickets were sold in all? Here we need to find the number of tickets being sold for the school annual day. When you see the keyword in all, we need to do addition. Here we are going to add sixty-five and ninety-eight. That is the number of parent tickets and the number of student tickets. First, we need to place the numbers in the place value chart. And to begin with, we are going to add the number of digits in the ones place. And we have five and eight. Five plus eight gives you thirteen. So three is placed in the ones place, and one is regrouped to the tens place. And now, counting the number of digits in the tens place, we have one plus six plus nine gives you sixteen. So six is placed in the tens place, and one is regrouped to the hundreds place. And finally, by adding the number of digits in the hundreds place, we have one plus zero gives you one. and here we got the answer the number of tickets being sold in all is 163 tickets as the given answer is correct we need to put a tick example 2 kabi spends 14 hours a week doing homework 8 hours are spent on solving maths how many hours are spent on other subjects Here we need to find the number of hours being spent on other subjects. So we need to subtract the number of hours being spent on max from the total number of hours being spent on doing homework. So we need to subtract eight from fourteen. To begin with, we are arranging the numbers in the place value chart and subtract the number of digits in the ones place. We have four and eight as Four is lesser than eight. We need to regroup the tens place. So one ten becomes zero, and four ones becomes fourteen ones. On subtracting, fourteen minus eight gives you six, and we found out the answer. Six hours are being spent on other subjects, but the given answer is twenty-two hours. So it has been found wrong. So we need to put a cross. Let's recapitulate the concepts that we have learnt in today's class. Before solving a problem, we need to remember the keywords. When you see the keywords, add, sum, in all, all together, we need to do addition. And when you see the keywords, left, remaining, difference, we need to do subtraction. Hope you all enjoyed today's class. Thank you, children.